Chris Martin here for Creative Cal, and today I want to take a look at using the multi shader with MoGraph clones. So, this is what we're going to be doing. We're going to be creating a little animation like this. So, it's sort of a mosaic type animation where we have a bunch of images all in our clones, and then we sort of pull out of it, and as we do, we sort of fade into a larger image that covers all of the clones. So you've probably seen this done before. You may already know how to do this, but I thought it was worth taking a look at. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Now I will supply you with this. This is what I started with here, but if you want to know the dimensions, here's a cube, and we're looking at 50, 28, and 0. And just a real quick 101 modeling, if we convert this, to an editable object and we come over here and we select our edges tool hit U and L and select the cube we can select the edge completely around then we can right click and click on extrude we can extrude that up like this and then I came over here went to my mesh menu to commands subdivide I click on the little icon here and subdivided three times clicked OK that's about how I came up with what I'm starting with over here so let me go ahead and delete that turn this back on actually I may have subdivided twice instead of three times but either way that's sort of how you came up with this the other thing that I did here was I selected or I made two set selections so if I click on here I've got the face here the front and if I click on here we've got the edge and that's sort of how we got the these little lines in between okay so enough of that let's go ahead and get busy I'm gonna select this I'm going to go to MoGraph hold alt down click on cloner it's going to place this piece of geometry underneath my cloner object and I'm going to go to the cloner for the mode I'm going to choose grid array and let's go ahead and pull out so that we can see what's happening here so right now we have 3 3 and 3 in X Y and Z for Z we need to have 1 and I believe I did 50 and 50 so now we just need to pull these way apart. All right. And I believe this was something like 2400 was the number here. Could have been more. There we go. Probably ought to go into a front view to get a better idea of what's happening here. So I'm just going to pull those so that they're almost or so that they are touching. There are a little overlap here is not going to not going to be a problem. I believe my Y value was about 1378. This is probably going to be different for you if you're using a different size than I was. But again, I'm going to just have them overlap a little bit in both directions. All right. So now if we pull out here, we can see we have a bunch of clones. Okay, so now we need to create two images. One is going to be our multi-shader, which is going to have all of the different images that are going to be on all the different clones. And we need to have another image that's going to be the final image that's going to be on all of the clones at the same time. So I'm going to double click here double click and let's go ahead and get our final image in here first so I'm gonna to go to the color channel and I'm going to go in here and grab my one image say no alright that's gonna be my final image I'm gonna double click here again and turn this off I'm gonna go over here to the texture I'm going to go down here, let me get up here so that you can see this. 
go to MoGraph, choose Multi Shader. I'm going to click to go into the Multi Shader, and I'm going to say Add from Folder. I'm going to choose my multiple picks, click OK, say No, and it's going to drop all of those in. The other thing that we're going to need here is an alpha channel and we'll go in here and we'll drop in a color and we'll go into the color and what we're going to do ultimately is we're going to animate this from white to black and that's what's going to actually fade these images off of here. Okay so let's go ahead and put our main image or the image that we want to end up with ultimately on here and right now it's on all of our clones so if we render that you can see it's on every one of them and what we need to do is take this off of tile and we need to change this to flat and then I want to come up here to tags fit to object do you want sub objects to be included say yes and now if we render that you can see it's on the whole thing so now what we want to do is go ahead and add a random effector to the cloner object. And what this is going to do is it's going to randomize the images of the multi shader when we put that on. So we'll select the cloner, we'll go to effector, and we will choose random. And right now it's going to randomize all this, the position by default. So we'll select that. We'll come over here to the parameter and uncheck position. We'll change the color mode to on and the blending mode to add. So right now we still have everything exactly the way it was. It's only going to affect the multi shader when we put that on the cloner. So now let's go ahead and drop our multi shader on our cloner and when we render we can see that well you really can't see. Let's zoom in here. We can see that we have all of our images on there as expected. Now let me go ahead and just turn this off for one second and select this base object, hit O on the keyboard and I want to go ahead and select the outer edge here and create a new material turn specular off make that a white material and go ahead and just drop that on here alright let's come back out and what we need to do is drop that on the cloner let's go ahead and do that and now let's pull back in here and we can see now that we have the white on the edges there Okay, so now what I did was just pick a few places and I used a camera morph. So, well, you know what? Let's do this first. Let's go ahead and put our bend deformer on here. So, I'm going to grab a bend deformer right here. And I think that the dimensions that I had for this were 1554 by 3000 and by 264 and let me go ahead and spin that around 90 degrees let me go ahead and select 45 and 90 And then what I want to do in order to get the bend deformer to work on the cloner is to select all of these, Alt-G to group them, and then it's going to affect my clones. So I sort of get that bend in there. Okay? All right. So I'm going to go ahead and set this to 1280 by 720. And now I'm going to go ahead and choose a few different camera angles. So let me go back into here and let's just choose a couple places that we want to have the camera morph from point A to point B. 
So let's say that this is going to be the first place we start. Now you can obviously choose anywhere you want. I'm going to select a camera. I'm going to call this Cam 1. All right, so that's going to be our first camera. Let's get out of the camera. Let's pull over to, let's say, here. Create another camera. We'll call this Cam 2. So we've got Cam 1 over here, Cam 2 over here. Let's get out of this camera. We'll just pull back. Get something like that. You know, whatever you want to do. But that's what I'm going to do. Pull all the way back so that I can see the whole bank of clones. I'm going to create another camera. This is going to be cam 3. Okay, so we have 1, 2, and 3. Go ahead and increase this to say 450. I'm going to select all three cameras here. I'm going to go to Create, Camera, Camera Morph. Then I'm going to select the camera morph. And basically what I'm doing at this point is blending between these three cameras. So I'm going to start here at the end. And I'm going to put a keyframe here. And let's say we go to, I don't know, 150. And we'll blend to here. Put a keyframe there. Let's go out to 400. You're probably going to change these numbers. These are just off the top of my head. And we'll come all the way to the end. So, right now, we're looking at something like this. And if you end up going through your clones here, you may want to change your interpolation method from soft to linear. But I think we're going to be okay here. Looks like it's going to be fine. Yeah. Okay, so you get the idea. And then it's going to zoom all the way out. So, what we're going to need to do now is animate the opacity of the multi shader. So, I'm going to say right about here, so from 350 to 400, I want them to sort of fade out so that it's going to reveal my main image. So let's go ahead and go into the multi shader. We will go into the alpha, into the color, and at this point we're going to put a keyframe here. We'll go ahead and we'll move to 400. We'll change this to black. Put a keyframe there and you can see that it reveals that main image. Now you're probably noticing something else and that we've got all this being cut off here and that's because we put the bend deformer on here so it's sort of skewing the image so we need to fix that so let's go ahead and select that we'll go to tags fit to object say yes and you can see it fixed that there then I'm going to go ahead and with this clone selected, I'm going to right click, go to Cinema 4D Tags, and go to Stick Texture, and just click on Record. And that way it'll just keep it where it's supposed to be here. All right, let's check that out. Let's do that again, because that looks like it didn't do it exactly the way it was supposed to. Let's select that again. Go to Tags, Fit to Object, include the sub-objects. Okay, so basically I was having a redraw issue. What I did was just take this 
material off and put it back on and then ran through that same procedure of fit to object. So now we're all good. So we've got this animated. So over here, we're still with all the clones. And once we get over here and we animate from white to black, we end up with the overall image here. All right. Okay, so the last thing I did was to drop a plane in the scene. Come over here. Go to my object mode. Pull that down. Underneath my clones. Kind of hard to see. Go to garage shading. Pull that down. Put another material on it. Scale it up considerably. And let's create a material. Let's create something that has some reflection to it. Dial that down a little bit. Change the color to a darker, almost black. Something like that. Drop it on there. And then I put some lights in the scene and rendered it out. But basically, that is the idea of how to use the multi-shader with your clones to get the mosaic effect. Hope you enjoyed that. My name is Chris Martin. We'll talk again soon.